More than a year ago, Google released this Notebook LM. We covered that product on the channel in quite a detail and I believe that was one groundbreaking product. After that, so many companies, individuals and others have tried to replicate the same in terms of open source and this new project Open Notebook is one such example. That is what we are going to install on our local system and then we will play around with it. Open Notebook is a self-hosted research hub that lets you capture, organize and reason over multimodal sources like PDFs, videos, audio, web pages and much much more. And it keeps the full control of your data but I think that comes with a catch and I will describe it after we get it installed. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So let's get started. I am going to go and use my Ubuntu system. Let me very quickly show you my system specs. I should have done it uh, prior, but anyway, there you go, my Ubuntu system. Now the catch with which I was referring to is that you cannot use it with local models. I'm creating my virtual environment, by the way, and that is a huge catch. I mean, they mention in their repo, if you go through that, that you have control of your own data. Well, if I am using API based models and sending my data to those model, I don't think so. I am having any control of my data at all. And I have tried it out with Olama because it mentions in their repo that it supports OpenAI compatible endpoint, which primarily means LM Studio or Olama and few other tools, but it doesn't simply work. There are a lot of bugs. Anyway, maybe in the future and when that happens, we will make another video. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with what they have provided. And by the way, if you're looking to rent a VM or CPU or GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. And our virtual environment is created. That is not a mandatory, but always a good idea. One of the prerequisites which you would need is Docker. I have this recent version of Docker installed. But if you don't, just make sure you have Docker installed. And if you don't know how to do it, just search my channel. Next up, I'm just giving some permissions to Docker. And then I have just created this directory. Now, what we need to do next is download the Docker image and then run it on our local system. I will quickly show you the command. So this is the command which I'm going to use. And you can see that here I need to provide my open API key. They also have some other supported models. If I just quickly go and show you. So this is a difference and scroll down, scroll down. This is the one. So these are all the ones which it supports. It says it supports Olama, but I have tried it out, doesn't work. So let's see how it goes. And I think they also have some um, uh, sort of, you know, issue in their repo at the moment. Anyway, so if you're following along, you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your OpenAI's API key there, and then you would need to insert it here. So let me put my key in here and run it. And rest is very simple where they are using, um, you know, some of the local volumes for storing the data. And there you go. It is pulling the Docker image and then it is going to run it on my local system. While that happens, let's talk a bit more about this project. I'm just going to, you know, scroll to this diagram and then we will talk about it as what exactly this tool is doing. So you can plug in around 16 plus AI providers, as I mentioned earlier. You can even do vector plus full text search across your corpus and chat with context grounded in your own material. It also includes a production grade pipeline for generating multi-speaker podcasts, granular context privacy controls, some rich citations and a full REST API. So you can automate everything and deploy it anywhere. You can even build it locally if you don't want to go Docker way. Now, if you don't know what Google Notebook LM is, it is a hosted note taking and AI summarization product powered by Google's own models. It's very convenient. 
but you live inside Google's cloud and feature set, of course. But by contrast, what this open notebook is trying to do, it is open source and self-hostable with provider choice, of course. And it is also trying to offer deeper customization, very new project. So hopefully they are going to grow more and you will have a bit more data sovereignty. But I think that is that comes with a caveat. Uh, API sounds good, but we will see how it works. Anyway, so that is what this is. Let's go back and check what is happening in our terminal. It is still extracting. And while that happens, let me quickly introduce you to our very good friends at iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Okay, everything is done. Let's access it locally in our browser and it is available at localhost at port 8502. There you go. So this is our open notebook, as you can see, where you can create a new notebook. You can go with different sources, which primarily means your own data sources. And then you can even create a podcast and all that stuff. So let's click on create here. And I'm just going to say, okay, I first want to create a data source. Let's, you know, select something. Maybe I can go with the link or I'll just say, okay, just go to my own website, which is for And, you know, I'll just say Fahad Mirza website. I'll say done. It is cute. I'll create another source. I'll go to the source. This time I want to upload a document. And from there, I just clicked here. Let me select a document, any random one. So I'm just going to select this my PDF dot PDF. I think this contains my own information. And these are the supported choices. EPUB is quite good. You can upload the books too. I'll just say Fahad info that PDF and that's it. And I believe you, if you click on create and then go to source, you can also just do some free flowing text. Uh, I'll just say Mirza is an AI YouTuber, something like that. And it there's a title, I'll say Fahad info and then more something random so again the source is queued here i'll just click on sources and then this is a created and they all have been embedded which means that they have been converted into vector store behind the scene it is using open ai model so make sure that you are aware it's a cost always always set a threshold so you don't get any rude surprises from these api based models now we can just go to create again and let me create a notebook. I'll just say uh, my notebook and then just let's create a notebook. Notebook uh, got created successfully. As you can see, if you click on notebook, this is a notebook here. So let's click on these three dots. You can delete and all that stuff. I'll just click here. Now I can add sources. You see how intuitive that is. I'm just going to say existing sources and I'm going to select all of them. Add selected. There you go. I can write more notes and then from here you can see that you can chat with notebook. You can uh, select your model default. I think chat GPT-5 is being used and there is some system prompt which you can set out. So you can chat from here. You can say who is Fahad Mirza. And I think my maybe API key is not valid, but that is fine. I'll check it shortly. Let me first go here. Okay. I need to select an embedding model before I can chat with it. So let me quickly go to the models on the left here. And in order to specify the models, make sure that this is green, which is open AI. And you see Olama is there, but doesn't work at the moment. Maybe later we will try it out again. But what you need to do, I think, and this is one area where they can really improve. You need to first add the model surprisingly when you have selected the open AI, it should populate the default models but anyway make sure that you have selected these models once you have selected these you would just have to go here again and select the chat model so i'm just going to select all of these models 
like whatever you want so embedding model should be there i'll also select speech to text text to speech just for the heck of it i'm just going to select all of the models and gpt5 mini should be good for the tool calls so everything is updated now let's go back to our notebook this is our notebook and now let's try to ask it the same question again as who is Fahad Mirza okay so it says fail to send message now this is a problem where which you will face that it doesn't show you any sort of output now the only way is to go back and check the logs so let me show you that okay so i had to reload the notebook i had to change the model to gpt4 oh and now as you can see first i asked who is fahad mirza and it says that it uh, didn't know so what i did i just added the sources and then i asked the question again and now it is telling me uh, all about me just grounded from these sources which of course are using open eyes stuff so look i think that pretty good idea no doubt about that but really wouldn't have much value unless we could run it with local models and all this would be as seamless as is the case with the open ai based models so that's it uh, let me know what do you think i if i uh, i think i would just keep using google's notebook lm for now uh, until they integrate olama properly let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support